Hey everyone, welcome back for another thrilling replay in the most annoying tank in Era 3, Weasel Toe. The replay was sent in by Supreme Squirrel. This isn't the first time we featured his replay. We did feature another replay he sent about 8 months ago in Weasel Toe itself where he did 17k damage. And I wasn't sure if he will be able to top that damage, but I was wrong. This time he managed to break 20k damage. And the game didn't even last that long. He has his weasel gold marked and love playing his weasel and we'll see in this game that when I compare the last game versus this he has definitely got a lot better shooting weasels in his weasel and we'll see that. The game started he found an MBTB not moving nothing more satisfying than spotting a tank that's that didn't move the first few minutes of the game for whatever reason and you managed to pen him. Weasel does have proxies range Concealment basically you have to unless he fires uh, you, you can only spot weasel if you are within the proxy range distance He puts another shot in m1 a1 Sorry m1 At 2800 damage 1600 assist he would just keep firing the entire game. This is no No camping game and the thing about weasel the most efficient way and the way he plays as well You can't really focus on the one target most of the time the target won't even survive to take the second shot but the thing is if once you hit a target once then he'll be keeping an eye on you and focusing you so it's just better to ignore him and move on to the next target who's not paying attention. He penned three shots, three out of three shots at 4200 damage and now he's searching for his next target. He is on swamp though, Try to climb but uh, was, wasn't able to, his teammate did help him. Sometimes you need a little extra push and that's what his teammate did there. You see a challenger hiding, sniping, not really sn hiding, but sniping. Managed to put a shot on, onto the side, full pen him, and now we're at 5600 damage. And as I was saying, right, since once you hit the challenger, he probably will be looking for weasel, so it's better while you're reloading, use that time to reposition. And now he managed to get behind Magad 6B, who had no idea that a stealthy, sneaky weasel is behind him and about to blast him. His equipment and skills are listed in description, but for equipment he's using loader, traction system and camo net, pretty standard. Some people could use the double speed, but if you want high damage you do need loader for the extra DPM you can get. All list of skills are listed in description, so you can check it out there. If you haven't seen his older replay, the link is listed in the card above or in the video at the end screen. He's now pushing towards Thumper. He ignored Thumper. I was a little bit uh, surprised why he ignored the first Thumper. Now got around the second Thumper, quickly did a handbrake turn. Actually Wargaming did add the ability to handbrake on a lot of tank destroyers. I don't know if Weasel already had it or it just got it. But it just made it easier for tank destroyer to use the handbrake. The Thumper, as, as I said, he was paying attention. No one was putting pressure on him. So he managed to shoot weasel and pen him with the swamp it's pretty slow to get out of trouble quickly as it slows down your speed and acceleration and then once he was loaded he came back to finish off the second thumper or the one he ignored early on hitting 9300 damage at this point i was thinking how did he do 20k damage he's only at 9k damage in the scores 4v6 it looked very unlikely and then he ended up missing a shot on 292 as well. Scores 3v5. And the only way he does that is if he's basically kill or do all the da remaining damage in this game. Can he do that though? Another thing I noticed, like last time he spent 2-3 to three minutes trying to chase down the last weasel as it was 1v1. And he wasn't successful but this time his aiming is just excellent. 292 got lucky when he didn't pen him the first time, but this time not so much as he got ammo racked. And th that's the luck you need sometimes, right? There's a 477 alive, you need ammo rack or so, so you can get that uh, extra damage. See a 477 not moving, and he end up ammo racking him as well. You're lucky getting one ammo rack, and then you get two back to back. And all of a sudden, he's now at 1500, 15.8k damage. Now it's 1v2 for him, 
and the, both the tank destroyer and the enemy team is also weasel. I can't kill a weasel. I can't hit a weasel in famine of my weasel because a lot of situations you do end up in this situation. And the first weasel he gets spotted. He is at 2700 damage. And yeah, that's the shot I was talking about. I, I don't even know how he hit that shot. There are obviously people who play weasel a lot. Can You can learn how to get used to the lead and stuff. I can't, but that was a beautiful shot onto the other weasel for hitting for 1500 and, the, and just left him. All you need is to pen the weasel twice. Even if they're full health, you can kill them without the Amorak. And also they can do the same to you. So one weasel was chasing him and the other started capping. And uh, relaying his position that this is where I am. And as like any Cold War player, that weasel, instead of hitting, he is moving. The second one is close to as well. So this is the one, I think this is, I'm not sure if it's the same one he penned earlier, but again, on the move, I thought his turret would lock there. I didn't even expect that shot to hit anywhere because I thought his, he hit his hull lock or turret lock at the point. So he, he penned that weasel and then threw smoke to disorient the other weasel who couldn't hit him. And now he's at 1800 damage, 1v1. The last weasel is 25. So basically he was 1v2 against almost two full health weasels can he hit him now of course why do we even question it but I, I was shocked when i was watching this replay and this is the best game in weasel i've seen so far there's no running around he chooses his target and execute them flawlessly as i say it hit this bit of the shot but i think we can, we can allow some slacking room right no one can be 100% perfect, but this, this is as close to perfection as you can get. He did get a little bit lucky with those Amorex, but he did aim his shots where, where the Amorex was, right? He was just not RBR thing. He was guiding his missiles, as you can. He's an ATGM clan, and rightly so. If you're that good in ATGMs, then that's the only tag you should have. And once again, the Weasel was going sideways. It wasn't that it's going straight in line, because that's the only way I hit Weasels. If they're going straight in line, and I can pen them. And then just aimed well and killed him. So that was this video. Make sure to watch his previous video as well. Hope you like it. If you haven't followed him, make sure you follow him as well. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.